Welcome to CIN, Camp Imagination News. Today, we're going to see the king of culinary and the tyrant of tech. So let's head on over to culinary and see what's cooking. Hi, I'm back on the field as Indiana Jones, and I'm here with two culinary students, Holly and Aiden. What is the real reason of joining this class? Because it's fun and you get to eat food. So it wasn't just for eating food? Not entirely. What about you? Um, I joined it for almost the same reason. Um, food's always great, so I like to make it too. Do you ever do food fights? No, teacher probably wouldn't like it. Might get a little messy and cleaning up is a little hard. So, uh -huh. yeah. Well, you could just let the Discovery Kids clean up the mess. I'm teasing. <laughs> okay, so what have you been making recently? We made apple pie cookies today. Ooh, how do you make those? So we um, roll out the dough, cut them up into little circles, um, put some apples on it, more dough over them, cinnamon sugar, let it bake, and it's good to go. Sounds hard. I'll just eat them because it sounds really good. Is there anything you're looking forward to making? Mango salsa. Ooh, sounds good. What about you? Sushi. Best stuff. Salsa sounds good. I'm not sure on the sushi, but I'm sure several people like it. Well, we're gonna go eat some food and back to the studio. Man, I wish smell-o-vision was a thing, because I bet those cookies smell good. And now it's time again for BBN, British Breaking News. Hello, I'm Nanny. Practically perfect in every way. I keep as a spit spot and ship shape. Can stay out of trouble when I'm around. Some people may call me a babysitter. Thanks, campers. Bye! Thanks for all that info, Kaylee. The theater has a lot of moving parts. And the team who is responsible for keeping up the illusion of the play is the tech crew. So let's go talk more about that with Mr. Tim. Hi, I'm your field reporter, Belle Duncan, and I'm here with the technical director, Tim Huff. Hello. What are, we see you're building some sets here. What are some information you can tell us about building sets for these musicals? There's several things you want to keep in mind. One of the big ones is how many people are actually going to be on stage. If you have 10 people on stage, you can build a lot bigger set than if you have 120 people on stage because the set would get in the way of the people. Okay, is there any difference in this year's musical and last year's? Yeah, there's... They're all kind of different. Um, this one is more of a stationary house and building kind of thing. We're actually having to build some more actual set pieces, like this is going to be the rooftop for the bank's interior, and beds for the nursery, some things that we haven't used before, so we got to build some new things this year. And then um, we're also working on things that are more technically props, because like the chimney sweeps, need uh, these little chimney brooms and we're trying to figure out ways to give all the younger kids kites so well we heard that you were the light master too so what can you tell us about that well lighting is uh, I like to equate it a lot to painting so you use big brushes for big broad strokes like if you want to make sure the whole stage is lit you use other lights that are more for what we call uh, profiles or spots or tight lights that we use to highlight certain areas and the other cool thing about lighting is it's not just the light itself, but it's also the shadow that it makes. So it's a big, big part of it. So the more angles you have to light people with, and it's really creative. And we added a bunch of new intelligent lights over the last few years, and I get to play with all those and get to create the illusion. Great. Could you maybe show us the light panel? That's a long way to walk, but sure. Okay, let's go. Hi campers, we're at the light board. What are some functions of the light board? Well, the light board, um, uh, oh yeah. So um, basically, you can turn a light on and off with the light board. That's one of the basic functions. You can build numerous lights into a look, and that look is called a cue. 
And then there's also this cool little thing called Smart Effects, where if you want the lights to move around or flash in different sequences, you can build different types of effects with it. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us. Back to the studio. Thanks, Mr. Tim. We appreciate all that you do, and the tech crew, too. Next week, we are taking you to the stage. So rest up and come with a smile. Bye.